So I said uh, data frame is uh, a list of vector. Uh, it's different from matrix. In the sense that a data frame can allow vector of different types. So for example, in this here, we have a data frame. We have a number uh, one and two, and also a numeric vector, and also have a uh, character vector, good and bad. So that's how we define data frame. And uh, the data frame also is a less spreadsheet. And here we have a column name and row name. Um, so if you don't give the name, then you will assign automatic. So let's see in this our program. So let's clean everything up. Before we work on. Um, so here is the code copy from the slide. So here you see uh, this is actually you see the slide. So it's a two dimensional uh, one vector is one two or the other vector is good and bad. And if you look at the data here, it's a two variable two observation. In particular, there's a it looks like uh, uh, item with wheel. Then it actually shows you the uh, what you have here. Okay, you can visually see the uh, brush. So it's really an Excel. Okay. So um, now the next thing is to do the names. Okay. So uh, instead of one and two, then you can Give the column names uh, and also row names, and of course names are character vector. So you do this, then you see what uh, the spreadsheet again. Then you see what happened. So let's go back to the R. So if you click this and run, okay, then you become GPA and a comment and the row name of John and Mary. If you click view, then you will have the exactly the same thing here. So uh, rather handy. Okay? So uh. Now the next thing is to do more simple. When you define uh, the vector, you can give the name, say GPA equal to comma equal to. Uh, the row name still need to do it, but uh, the column is uh, the column name is already there. So if you run this code directly, then the column name is given directly. So let's see. Um, let's clear everything. Okay. And let's run it again. Let's clean up. Let's run it. Okay, run this code. Then you have uh, exactly what we see in this slide. Okay, surprisingly. So the next thing is um, how other ways to you first sometime you have a vector and then you want to combine data frame. So that's how you do. Define two column vectors and call data frame and uh, put them together. Then you're done. Or even more compact directly. Uh, if the code is short, then you can just do it uh, exactly here is more compact. Okay? So let's see the code how it's being run. If I run this, okay? uh, let's clear everything again. So more clear code. So uh, here I have defined X and Y, and I data frame combine data top frame, and that combine the two together in the DF. So let's view the actually X and Y. Okay? So, um, and this is how being done, but uh, you can do it more compactly, see everything. Run this, again, the same thing. Okay, if you see the view the DF, also the same thing happens. So either way will be okay, uh, depend on usage. Um, uh, the next is uh, try to get some element from the uh, data frame. So again, we use a subsetting uh, operator. So, Square bracket. So here we have. Uh, we want to get the second row first column. Uh, will be two one. So the row first and then column. Uh, so let's uh, see the code. So we have uh, x and y is uh, two one four five, three. If you do two one, gives you three support. Uh, two one is the first second row first column is give you four. Okay, and if you bought Want to call the first row is just one comma. So one comma if you first row, right? If you have a second row, two one will give you second row. So you can e easily predict how to get a particular column. You can give the name if you do dollar sign, 
or you can just df1 will give you the first column or you have a comma one okay because uh, the row is not needed you just uh, give, don't give a row you just have it empty and this will give you the column so let's try the poll also give the same answer dfx okay you run it give you two four df1 also give you two four and df comma one also give you a uh, two four okay um, so this is how a column can be or and also you can add new columns uh you can just directly create just call a uh, dollar z then will be x plus y uh, that's how you can work on it okay so let's see again so let's clear everything out and the code we have in the slide so this is the first line run line by line this code x this will be x and y then you have run this and automatically your variable become two become three so you can see z is sum of x and y because it's a uh, uh, remember a dollar x is a vector dollar y is a vector a vector plus a vector with a at the end of vector so we define the variable z as a new vector from x plus y so that's why we see uh, the data frame become uh, three columns now um now with exercise we create two vectors from x and y and we define a new column w is uh, x minus 2 times y okay so let's see how being done here okay so um copy this because the first line is fine so let's clear everything out so the first line just define x and y again right and you can check whether it's right or wrong, right? That's what we have. And let's define this. Okay. And see here. This is how X, Y, and W. Okay. This is how we get uh, another column there. So finally, uh, let's talk about removing a particular uh, vector. You just set it to null. And null is thing you said, nothing there. You delete it by setting null. C. So if I x, I set it to now. Okay, actually, it's three variable here. When I do it, become two variable. And if you want to check, okay. So that's how you did it thing. So now you learn the data frame. It's a combining a uh, vector of different same different data type or same data type. You know how to add things in and subtract things in and extract things out and how to do operation. So you know all the basic operation data frame. Thank you for listening.